we'll look at factors which affect angle and rate of descent. These are very similar to the factors that affect the climb. Weight. With an increase in weight, the lift to drag ratio must stay the same. Increasing speed is the only way to increase lift. The added lift compensates for the increased weight. The wind. Wind will change just the angle of the descent. A headwind, from in front of you, will push you backwards, making you travel less distance over the ground. A tailwind, from behind you, will help you travel further over the ground. Altitude and temperature. At higher altitudes and temperatures, the air density is reduced. Less dense air, contains less air particles and so it gives less performance in creating lift. The lift to drag ratio, decreases proportionally. So as they both reduce at the same rate, the actual ratio is unaffected. There is less air resistance. The TAS or true air speed increases. This means you travel faster through the air. Your indicated air speed stays the same. This is because you are passing through less dense air. So you will still travel at the same speed on the airspeed indicator, but you will be going through more air to get that speed. Power. Any small amount of power added, will improve thrust. Power will counteract drag. It reduces the rate of descent. And, it increases glide distance. Flap. Flap increases drag. The nose needs to be lowered to maintain the same airspeed. Flaps create a steeper approach. All this can be better for normal approach and landing configurations. For a glide descent, they will always reduce glide distance, if, there is no added power.